Hey, Electric Essence. Uh, so I messed up yesterday. Um, pretty badly. It's 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 a it's an issue specific to my character. This won't affect anyone else, but. I did not save my inventory from last night. My inventory is saved from Friday night. And so I spent the past couple minutes here giving myself items to roughly emulate what I had. Um, but that's because I had given myself super admin permissions to allow me to spawn items. Uh, but super admin also has ignore server side characters uh, as a permission, which means it didn't save my character's inventory upon me leaving. So I had to spend a bit of time getting that back there. So a couple of my reforges are off from what they were last night, but it's roughly what it was. Hey, Bismarck. Uh, last thing we did was kill Skeletron. Uh, and it really was the last thing we did. We left the game immediately after this. Um, no, 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 it's fine. I have money. Uh, I got like 80 platinum from the desync coins uh when we were farming for bloody tears uh i can reforge my things um plantera is the next boss and i don't really know what we have to do to prepare before plantera i mean someone who doesn't really get gear upgrades we're still just working with blade staffs and durand dolls once we kill plantera we can get pygmy tiki armor which we want uh, so I think we just head straight on to Plantera. We have arena building? Yeah, building an arena. Um, let's get to work on that. Uh, let's build a, a Plantera arena. Um, I think for Plantera, Blade Staff is 100% the way to go. Also, I figured out that I'd, uh... The way that I thought whips work isn't true. It, they apply tag bonuses to all enemies they hit. Uh, so the thing I was saying last night wasn't true. Uh, so Plantera, uh, we just have blade staffs and we whip the hell out of her with blade staffs. Uh, and that should shred through her HP. Uh, phase 2 might get a little bit dicey, but uh, as long as we got a bed nearby, we should hopefully be fine. Uh, and yeah, I think all of us should buy Tiki armor, uh, post-Plantera. That's gonna be our, our bread and butter for the rest of the game. You might be able to get a couple people spooky armor, but... I mean... A lot of you guys were here for the, for the melee world. It's gonna be worse for Summoner than it was for melee, and it was bad for melee. Valhalla Knight is an option. Yeah, Valhalla Knight is an option. Um, we'll see how that goes. But if we do the Old Ones army, we would want to get the... Um, uh, kind of out of time? No, we got five hours. What do you mean we're out of time? I'm out of time. Right, let me go get my minions. Reforged. The nice thing about Summoner is we, we skip around progression. Um, we're not going to be doing like... Uh, Spirit is fine. Daytime Empress, but we've got plenty of other stuff to do. Everybody's is fine. Can you see yourself sticking with Hollow Armor for the rest of the game? Yeah, Hollow Armor is good. Uh, so I am going to be using uh, the Spinal Tap for bosses. I will be a, a Spinal Tapper. Uh, I will help, uh, I've got mining armor and an ancient chisel, uh, I'll make a chlorophyte, or not chlorophyte, a, a pickaxe axe, and savages that, and, uh, help clear out a plantera arena. Uh, someone who doesn't really need chlorophyte for 
really anything. I mean, maybe Spectre Wings. Um, or like if you want uh, a Shroom like Digging Claw or something. But there's really very, very little need to uh, get Claw Fight. Can I get a speed buff that is nimble? Please. A big space for the cavern farm. Um, now nah, we can we can clear out somewhere else. We got, we got an aglet. Nice. We got mining speed. Uh, let's do it next to the the queen bee arena. We've got. Uh, actually, no, no, no. This. Uh. It's actually on the edge of the jungle. I, I think we want to go a bit further in. Because if we start clearing out these blocks, we'll probably get her enraged. This is a granite biome. Uh, what about down there? I kind of like down there. That looks pretty good. It's pretty wide open to begin with. Have we found the temple? We could build the arena by the temple. That would be a time saver. Have I found the temple? Maybe I have. Yeah, I found the temple. The temple's right there. That's my mining speed so bad. I should do it, right? Black pistol. Once we get past Plantera, uh, I can go ahead and get people 300 HP. And a bulb? Okay. Let's, uh... Let's build the arena right here. This looks fine. Yeah, so as expected, uh, melee had a, uh, blew through the latter half of, of hard mode. No trouble at all. Um, we finished like two hours early, just because we didn't feel like grinding the post-golem stuff, because they kind of sucked. Um, Pumpkin and Frostmoon are not fun times, especially when you have low-range weapons. So, based on those findings, uh, Ranger is the best class in the game because uh, it wins by default. Uh, melee comes next. Uh, and so far, Mage is in dead last. Let's see if Summoner ranks in. If Summoner beats Mage. Yeah, I, I think so too. At least uh, to this point so far. Summoner had to spend like two hours killing the Wall of Flesh or something, and we still have had an easier time than Mage did. No, I mean Summoner... We didn't get a Summoner weapon for longer than until we got Mage weapons. Um, Summoner's early weapons were just better than the Mage weapons were. Is part of it. Which is saying something. Moth! 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 Life fruit, that'll be an Aegis fruit. Um, Mimik. Mimik. You already done Ranger only? No. Ranger only didn't, uh. 
didn't win any of the... It, it, it came in last place when we voted on which ones to do. Uh, which obviously means it's the best. Um... I mean, realistically, it is. I, <laughs> Ranger is just, like, all of Ranger's weapons could be, can be mass-produced extremely easily. Uh, they're all really potent. Um, the armor's good, you got good defense, everything's easy to use. Uh, Ranger is just genuinely, uh, would be the strongest class for this. Like, Ranger is basically Terraria's default class. For lack of a better word. Um, at any stage in the game, Ranger has an, a very easy to obtain weapon that is potent. Um, and you can just default back on it. You've got early game bows with Frostburn arrows. Classic weapon choice. You've got guns. You've got, you know, late hard, late free hard mode. you got the Phoenix Blaster. you got the Molten Fury, which is craftable. You've got B-Nates, which are one of the most iconic um, weapons against the Wall of Flip. That was weirdly fast. Um, it's been a decent thing. Uh, you've got, like, isn't one of the speedrunning weapons the hollowed repeater? Uh, isn't that frequently used just because it's so easily obtainable and consistent? Um, you just kill one mech, like kill destroyer with dynamite, then get hollowed repeater for the other two mechs. Um, yeah, you have the musket, which is a guaranteed drop early game and is very potent. Uh, once you get past the mechs, you've got the chlorophyte shot bow. Again, very powerful and easy to obtain weapon. And once you get that past that point, uh, Troy doesn't really have default weapons anymore, so it kind of falls apart there, but by that point, um, you're so close to the end of the game that it's, there aren't really ores to craft things out of anymore. Um, that's probably the point where, uh, Ranger is the weakest, is, like, post-Plantera. Now, Eventide's a boss drop, um, like, Ranger has strong options at that point, but I think, like, directly post-Plantera is probably when I'd say Ranger is the weakest. Um, before having done Moons, or, uh, Duke Fishron, or anything like that, you're just working with... If you didn't get a Venus Magnet from Plantera, it can be a little bit annoying getting a, uh, a good Ranger weapon by that point. You got Nail Gun, you got, uh... A Stinger from Golem, uh, you have the Venus Magnum, uh... But that's probably the, the point where Ranger would struggle the most, which is saying something, because Ranger doesn't really struggle at that point in the game. Okay, uh... How are we doing on size here? Uh, I think this is probably good. It looks like we're still counting as jungle in the whole thing. Uh, let, let's clean this up, close it off, and, uh... Call this an arena. It's going to be very helpful for your current one. What, the or cave music at the center? No, the background's not changing. The background would change if it was, uh, uh, the underground layer. In worst case, we can just throw in some jungle grass for the middle area. Your opponent hammer. Uh, you can also block swap underneath it with platforms. Um. Alright, 
Have we got asphalt? Asphalt's usually helpful with, um, to line plantos floor with. Oh, we got a bulb right here, too. Nice. My game audio off? No? I can hear the game. That looks good. It's not the biggest arena, but um I think it'll it'll work for our needs. You make stone platforms. You need to craft gray bricks first, which you make it a furnace with two stone, and then you make uh, stone platforms from gray brick. Make it bigger? Nah, we're fine. This should be good. By the way, is anyone at less than 200 HP? Because, um, if anyone's still at less than 200 HP, I can get you to 200. And do you think Summoner is the weakest? I mean, early game, undoubtedly, before getting a weapon. Um, it's also fairly weak, um... Before getting... Like, immediately getting into hard mode, um, summoner's not in a great position. Your only real consistent weapon choice is spiders. Um, the sanguine staff is not consistently obtainable because blood moons can be very, very inconsistent. I have gone 28 hour playthroughs without getting a single blood moon uh, when playing as summoner. And Queen Slime sucks as a boss, especially trying to fight Queen Slime with a Spider Staff. Um, and that's not to say that you can't get it, because people do. Um, but I think in general, Summoner's at its weakest uh, in early pre hard mode and in early hard mode. Uh, I got a Life Crystal. Uh... Yeah, Miner, you want a life crystal? Here you go. You want a life crystal. I don't know where you got fun for you. I mean, someone who is definitely stronger. Um, and you have minions coming into it. Um, but it's not as bad. Let me shimmer these wings. Make butterfly wings. Major summoner. Oh, summoner. Easily. I can't stand major. We're talking about, like, removing one of them from the game, right? Remove mage from the game, keep summoner? Summoner ranger? Ah, uh, keep ranger. Okay, I'll put an extra ice feather in the hardware materials chest. Ranger is the most consistent class in vanilla, um, and I like consistency. Count right now. I only have eight people in here right now. That's surprising. In Calamity, you think Ranger becomes the worst class? Remember Mage being very good pre mana sickness era? That would make sense. Mana sickness is a big nerf to the class. Um, well, I'm, uh, just about ready for Plantera. I'm gonna, uh, trim this life fruit, get a couple potions, I think, but. I don't have a bed? Uh, I can grab one. 
You do? Okay, can you set one up near the uh, near the arena? Yeah, I bought a bass statue. I'll be bringing the other arena buffs. Um, Iron skins, I got long ties, I got a bass statue. Pull a fight away. Here, got a campfire. Where's a campfire? Up here. Okay. Um, and I'll bring the blade staff and a chest. Thank you, I guess. Uh, we want to make sure our uh, uh, spawning areas. Is a decent distance away. We don't want to be right on top of her. Um, yeah, I'll bring that bewitching table too. We repeat boss fights. Depends if there's a reason to. Um, okay, have we got someone using every whip? We've, uh... We've... Not everyone has rejoined since yesterday. Um, I think we'll need like eight or nine players. Uh, you on Tuckle? I don't know what that means. What, what is a Kuckle? Cool? Okay. We have a cool whip. I'm using Spinal Tap. Uh, you on Durandal. We got a Snapthorn and a Leather Whip. Those are the other two. Okay, Seto Kaiba's got leather. Anyone got a snap one? Snap the only one missing. Having got launched in the temple? Is there a hoik? Yeah, there's a hoik. Okay, let's, uh, let's close this off so it doesn't happen mid-fight. Um... Okay, uh, I wasn't paying much attention. Have we got our snap one settled? Now let's break the hoik. Yeah. He's a lousy. You know to give it? Okay. Uh, let's just make sure somebody's got a, a snap one over here. Where's our bed? Down there. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this spot for the bed. I think I want this a bit further away. That seems like people are going to get spawn camped by Plantera. Honestly, if you just shifted this room like 20 blocks to the left, like put it in this beehive here. Or something. I think that's fine. We just don't want it to be like right up against Plantera. We want to give people some space uh, so that she doesn't just... Yeah, up there is fine, Summon Fair. That's a good spot. for frost wings. I mean, I left a frost feather in the hard mode materials chest. Okay. Blade staffs, um, out here in this chest here. Uh, I would suggest that for planter. I think that's our best bet. Uh, optic staff's not bad. Uh, I think Blade will do a lot more damage, especially against her phase one. Uh, they're equivalent to Harpy Wings Hyper. They used to be better, but then they were nerfed. Uh, be consistent. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you set your spawn down here. Uh, make sure you've got your minions. missing. Who's not down here? Uh, is that everyone? 
Uh, I see a people, a couple people coming in. Uh, make sure you join blue team, and then we'll uh. We'll get here. You have tattered B wing. You probably just got to drop from a B. Where's the bed? It's to the left. I'm pinging it right now. God damn it! On the map. Uh. Anyone got Nyko flask? I don't know if that was a thing that anyone got. Not a big deal. Uh, we're not going to go get one before doing this, but if anyone has one, uh, it would be helpful. An Ikor flask. Flask of Ikor. Whip debuff Ikor. Then we need Snapthorn. I have not heard positive confirmation on somebody using the Snapthorn. I would use it, Hyper, if, um... If you've got one. Okay. Everyone got their spawn set here? You're using cool? Okay. Can you give it to Rio? Um, you snap phone? I just want somebody using the snap phone. We saw in Plantera. And she should spawn right here because the bulb's right here. Alright. I do think these uh these minion slots would be better on blade stabs than off the staff, but at least for phase one. Phase two we'll see. Hopping staff does have better piercing. What a wonderful noise all these minions make. Okay, phase two. I think clearing out the uh, these tendrils over here would be a worthwhile endeavor. Because those ones don't respawn. It's only the ones on her main body that respawn. That should help out a lot with keeping people alive, hopefully. Was nice. Okay, 
Okay, she's just about done here. More fun than the mage one. Everything's better than mage. It's a very low standard. Okay. Treasure bag's right here. I'll mark it with three green torches. Uh, well, I got the pygmy staff, but... Um... Someone took the blade staff. Uh, tiki armor, yeah, tiki armor's unlocked now. Uh, can we get the, the blade staff back? I just got an inventory. I don't know how to do that. Uh, somebody's summoning. It looks like Vulcan has it. Um, Pygmy's good? No. Uh, okay. Well, I, I suggest that people go buy, uh, Tiki armor. I'm gonna go put the blade staff back at spawn. Um, Tiki armor is gonna... You don't have a recall. Can you get to the, the pylon? You're pretty close to the pylon. It's just up there. Um, okay, I haven't put it back yet, student loaned it. There it is now. Okay, uh, we can get the morning star. Um... From the dungeon. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what we get next. I mean, we could do Golem Motion Xeno Staff. We could do uh, Pumpkin Moon Raven Staff. Um, we could do Solar Eclipse Deadly Sphere. Um, I'll be honest, I, I think the blade staff at this point is probably kind of meh. Uh, the, the performance has been fine, but I don't think it's been like exceptional. Um, and I think getting better minions for single targets. Um, and who knows, gets you necromantic scrolls and sp spooky wood? Yeah, but the problem is we have to kill the things in pumpkin room. Um, I think Deadly Sphere is the best stepping stone. Deadly Sphere has got good crowd control. It's very good for Pumpkin Moon and motions. Um, so I think we do Eclipses to try to get Deadly Spheres. I think that's what makes the most sense. Uh, anyone looted the temple? I know we found it. Have we gotten the stuff for, uh, Solar Tablet? I can go grab the stuff real quick. I'm, I'll summon an eclipse today. Um, I get the blade out of here. Man.
Is it okay if you go for Master Ninja Gear? Yeah, that's fine. Deadly Spear Staff immediately. Okay. I'll go ahead and put it in the blue chest. And um, I think getting backup Deadly Spears would be a good idea. Okay, Broken Hero Sword. I mean, Hero Blade. Classic summoner weapon. Your flasks? Um, I I had cut flasks of first plan for my old inventory, but I didn't get more. Uh, Ico, I feel like, is the only flask worth getting, and we really only need one person with it. How much damage of the sphere staff? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't see it right now. Yeah, it, it's good. It's a post-planetary minion. It's a good... Uh, good minion. It's got crowd control piercing. Um, so which doctor at? We got... Tiki. Ideally, you'd like to get your own. I mean, we're, we're at the point of getting more, but... If you really want Master Ninja Gear, I would strongly suggest you just go to the dungeon and start grinding it now. Instead of... Uh... Trying to get a redundant backup of a weapon we already have. Your stuff is gone? Did you get rid of it? Put it in a chest? Okay, that one's on you. Chests are open for people to take things from, so if you... Happened to the anchor to the wind. If you put it in a chest, it wasn't your anchor to the wind. Okay, that extra range from Tiki armor makes it so much easier to whip things with the spinal tap. Yeah, I think, um, I think for Pumpkin Moon, we should make a safe spawn location underground. Oh, that wasn't my deadly sphere. That was an enemy deadly sphere. Um, a safe location underground to respawn in. You got blades in the post planetary dungeons that they stunlock enemies, but the post planetary dungeon also has enemies with very high defense, more than what the blade staff gets through. Are the dashes give iframes? No, sure, your dashes don't give iframes. Enemies are learning they're using own weapons against us, yeah. I have a lot of minion summon slots. Uh, capitalize on this.
I get up to 300 life? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get you guys that are still under 300 life up to 300 after this eclipse is over. This one seems way more relaxed than the other two. Uh, I guess it depends on what you mean by relaxed, I mean. Sphere left? No? No, it's still there. Oh, unless you mean there is a deadly sphere to the left. All right, let's back up staff. Ooh, nail head, no. Nail head, nobody likes that you exist. Nobody in the history of Terraria has ever liked your existence. They'll kill me. And because there's less players. Yeah, we have a few uh, fewer players right now than we did uh, for most of the other multiplayer stuff. for grinding the... Uh... Yeah, we should try to get some morning stars. They're a really good whip. Oh, that was a vampire. I have a really tough time seeing what's going on with um, everything, all the minions and graveyard effects. Yeah, they are brutal, especially when those nails are hitting for, what, 250 damage each? Something like that. Oh, they're so squishy. I mean, nail heads cut through the other, um, Paladin Shield. I don't know if we really want... I mean, maybe... We could half-ass a tank class with Valhalla Knight stuff, but we want our Flesh Knuckles for the build. Um, which is going to make it limit, limit its potential quite a lot. Uh, got a Morning Star? Nice. What? Oh, there was a nail. I man, deadly spheres can't go through walls. No, they can. Which is annoying for some random things. I mean, no minion's perfect. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. You're the one that wanted to grind your own.
Okay, I think night after this we'll go for a um a pumpkin moon. So not this coming night, but the night after this. Um Oh yeah, false hydro summon. So we'll give you guys I'll give you guys some time to, to get prepped with whatever you want for that. Um and we'll probably do a few pumpkin moons, realistically. Uh, Another one's army? Not right now, we haven't even killed Golem yet. There's no reason to do the old one's army free golem. Yeah, we'll do the old one's army, but not yet. event in the game? We'll do it later. And probably one of the last things we do. Because unlike the other things, it is a hard DPS test. Um, Pumpkin and Frost Moon are soft DPS tests, where the more DPS you have, the more you'll be able to do. Old One's Army is a hard DPS test. You gotta do it, otherwise you, uh, you just fail the event. And the Golden Army is also weird because um, there's not really any incentive to beating it. I guess that'll allow us to summon sentries outside the event because we haven't actually done that yet. But um, most of the things Summoner needs can just be bought with Defendo Metals. We don't need drops. The Betsy Wings are nice, I guess. Yeah, ideally, uh, I'd like to get our damage as good as we can get it, which will probably be uh, Xeno Staff. Uh, and then go for the Empress of Light. Um, to get a Kaleidoscope. We're not getting a Terra Prisma, but I think... I think Deadly Spheres are probably our, our best bet for Martians um, of the minions I can think of. Ravens would probably also be pretty good. Uh, but we should be able to shred through Saucers pretty easily. Oh, I assume they meant the minion, Kalexos. Uh, but yeah, the Deadly Sphere enemy uh, goes through walls when you're a certain distance away. Oh, a Psycho Knife. I would like that for the melee world. Psycho Knife's a really fun weapon. Okay. Uh, night after this, we're gonna fight plant, uh, fight Pumpkin Moon. We have a Hard Mode Forge. Uh, looks like no, not yet. Uh, I don't know if we have here with three hard mode medals. Uh, that would be on you, you and the chest. Do you mind for one? Yeah. Only takes 30 ore, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, you can also uh, just, I think, shimmer down claw if I... I think we have claw if I... Inspector wings. You don't want to use too much. I mean, floor fights very easy to get. And teleport to you and get a lace wing. Uh, do I have a bug net? Oh, hold on. I don't have a bug net. That'd be a problem. Anyone actually have a bug net? That was my other character that had a bug net. Those are dead here? Okay, can you get over here, Sato Kaiba? Yeah, 
You want to give it to me? Okay, that'll be good for when we want to uh, fight the Empress. Thank you for the bug nut. You can craft a mirror, said Okaiba. Do we not have, like, diamonds to craft a mirror with? What was I down here to shimmer? What was I down? Oh, I see down here to sell stuff. That's right. We have something resembling a, like, elevator or something. Somewhere we can put people to respawn that's... Actually, maybe a, maybe a box in the sky would be a good respawn point. It'll be safe from everything but pumpkins. It's 433 damage? Yeah, um... Uh, Red Devils hit very, very hard. This should be a fairly safe respawn point for Pumpkin Moon. Trident, the devil drops so costly in mana. You go for Raven stuff. I mean, Pumpkin Moon drops a ton of summoner stuff. Um, Raven stuff's one of the things that would be nice, but I mean, you also got the the Necromantic Scroll um, and its upgrade uh, or downgrade, whichever one comes first. Uh, you've got uh, Spooky Omu. You got the Dark Harvest. Um, the Dark Harvest doesn't have tag damage though, so it's not. Uh, a phenomenal whip, uh, but it is still very good. Uh, tag damage is very beneficial in this setup that we have. Uh, armors. What Empress of Light be like? I mean, we'll, we'll fight regular Empress of Light. There's 30 titanium. Should be 30 titanium... Hyper, do you have the Hellforge in your inventory? Because you need to craft with the Hellforge in order to make the... You upgrade the forge, you, you don't you don't just make a forge out of nothing. It's sunny day. But no, we're going to do Empress of Light Free Moon Lord. Oh, Daytime Empress of Light. Oh, no, no, we're not doing Daytime Empress of Light at all. Um, it's practically impossible in multiplayer. Uh, just the way it works out. Uh, okay. This will be a Pumpkin Moon safe point. I'll move the Deadly Sphere up here when the time comes. You guys got the day to get ready for Pumpkin Moon. Um... The wyvern, go. Having more people increase the game's difficulty? Yes. Uh, 
bosses scale HP and some bosses scale other stats as well, based on the number of things. Is the sharpening station of the plant arrow, you know? Uh, I think so, yeah. We're, we're kind of at the point where the sharpening station is not very good anymore. Um, it's, you get more damage out of actively using a whip, uh, that deals damage, instead of getting six extra points per hit. Um, the only situation I would use it in is if you are using the blade staff and other people are using all the whips to cover the whip tag bonuses, then you could eke out a little bit of extra damage with the blade staff, but by this point, it's, it's not really worth using. I remember, the shove negation requires you to forego using a whip and hold out a melee weapon instead. Uh, after these multiplayer events? Not often. Multiplayer exhausts me. Well, it exhausts me on account of you guys being exhausting. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get you guys that are less than 300 HP. Up to 300. Come see me in the uh, the right house where we were last time. Line up single fire on the platform. Single fire on the platform. I don't care how many you need, I can see how many you need when you get here. Just get over here. Hey, you cut in line, mind you. Back in the line. You just came in the right door and cut. Literal children do a better job with lines than you guys. I I've been to elementary schools before. I've seen how children walk in lines. Alright, you're good, mind you. Getting people to sleep in mage is possibly the most brain rotting experience you've ever had in this game. Everyone thinks that they're the exception to the rule, is the thing. Um, when it comes to run like this, everyone wants to be the exception to what I'm telling people to do. They think, oh, uh, well, he's getting other people to go grind this event, so I'm going to go do something else. Or, you know, other people need to sleep, but um, I've got other things I want to do. Or... Other people mess up and touch their keyboard and cause people to wake up, but I'm not going to make that mistake. And then it's just that for like 10 minutes while trying to organize people to sleep. Um, okay. Do we have a dryad? She hit the uh, jungle. I need pumpkin seeds. Well, I'm going to plant pumpkin seeds. We don't need them, but... Yeah, I'm not like the other guys. Does NPC moving work? Don't bother moving NPCs. Uh, they move in at night. You need to reforge your wings. Uh, where are you, Hyper? Here, take this conch of the ocean, give it back when you're done. I don't want to scratch on that conch. You can use the ocean pylon to get to the underworld. NPCs move in, uh, when players are off screen during nighttime or when it's raining. Um... Neither of which is right now. The best way to get this pylon reactivated is going to be wait to wait for NPCs to respawn during the day. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there's a lot of balancing, like, everyone wanting to be exceptional during these runs. Everyone wants to have the best items. All of the best items at all times and spend their time getting those and we just don't have the time to accommodate that. Which is why during the melee world I was trying to, uh, 
you know, designate who would be getting what loot. We had the yo-yo guy, we'd have the tanks who wouldn't have great weapons, but would be getting all the flesh knuckles and defensive accessories. And then we could have people focusing on DPS. Uh, and then everyone seemed to ignore that, and the tanks just got all the best weapons for themselves, and also got the best accessories. Uh... But I tried. But sometimes they move in when it's not night. Um... Rain is when they move in when it's not night. Um, I think they hatched- there used to be a thing where NPCs, if they were standing on dungeon bricks, would move in when it's not nighttime and they're off screen. Uh, I think this was for the mechanic, but- what's up, Pepper? Oh yeah, my conch. Thank you. Uh, but I think they- they patched that because it wasn't intended, but- Why is this- oh, okay, you moved it so you could use the pylon, I see. They moved the pylon so it would function, because there were NPCs alive to the right. No, it was a, it was a good solution. Do we have NPCs back yet? Uh, I see a demolitionist and a merchant. I'm, I'm not sure if that's enough, if they're both close enough to the pylon. Uh, nurse... Okay, pylon should be back to operational now. Oh yeah, you can also buy leaf wings now, which are equivalent to butterfly... Uh, I'll move the pylon back. Uh, flame, those things. Thank you, never heard your weapon invention. It seems you're free to take anything you want. That's fine. I guess it was just a miscommunication thing. Because I was trying to distinguish it so that, um, everyone would be trying to go for the same people. You got five morning stars? Okay, we got five morning stars. Pylons work like three at a time, tens you went to use, ten times you went to use them. Well, part of that is because people keep building houses like this, which allow enemies to get in them easily, and then that causes NPCs to die. Imagine the essence work for wing movement speed. No, but Shadow Omu does. Think he's using shadow armor? Nothing. It's just a fun tidbit. Fun fact. Shadow armor is classic summoner armor. Makes it really synergizes well with the class. It's like obsidian armor where you can just use it to the end game. Um It just you know it's really, really summoner focused. Um Okay, uh, where's that ectoplasm map? Dungeon chest? Okay. Dungeon... Yes. Make some, uh, pumpkin medallions. Uh, so yeah, for pumpkin moon, I'm... I tried to make a safe spawn location up to the top right of, um, of spawn. Uh, that should be pretty safe from anything that isn't a pumpkin. Um, the, uh, the trees might be able to fire flaming missiles from below. Uh, in fact, I'm going to destroy this so things can't spawn on them to give us more space. What just happened? Am I having a stroke? Did my screen just like flash for a sec? What? Oh, so wall is just orbs. Okay. I wonder if the reason why when people are dying is because of the fact that they're used to having optical equipment during all scenarios. Um, the Deadly Sphere staff over to the floating house. Okay. 
Or was that Zoologist Orb? They changed the background. Okay, we've got three Pumpkin Moon Medallions. Um... Here, I'll, uh, I'll get a little extra ectoplasm. Uh, or sorry, an extra, a little extra chlorophyte, um, so people can maybe make, like, specter wings and whatnot. Um, I think, uh, okay, so we got about, uh, six and a half minutes before Pumpkin Moon starts. Um, make sure your spawn is set in the safer location. And are uh, you ready to to fight? When should we fight Wall of Flesh for Summoner Metal? Let's say post Pumpkin Moon. Uh, we can do it the the morning after that. In the heart too? Yeah, I don't have a demon heart either. A lot of us didn't get one because the Wall of Flesh was being buggy. I mean, I think the game would be really boring if everyone was just using optimal equipment. A big part of the challenge is the fact that we have to improvise uh, and go fast. If we just had infinite time to do whatever, uh, it'd be boring. Like, sure, could we have spent a ton of time grinding demon sides in the mage world? Um... In order to try to uh, get everyone decked out with demon sides before Skeletron. Sure, that's a thing we could have done. But then we wouldn't have had to sit there beating the hell out of Skeletron with mage staffs. And uh, wands of spell kick. Hey, Wyan, welcome back. Uh, if you're... Uh, I have less than 300 HP. I'll, I'll get you, though. 300 before Pumpkin Moon. I'm going to keep mine up just a here, below. Yeah, the time limit can be stressful, but it also sets a goal, um, and gives us something to work towards, work towards, and a time limit we need to achieve it in. Um, if it was open ended, uh, just leaving it open and like I, there have been some people who, uh, like think that, uh. I would be, like, leaving the world open when I'm not streaming it so people could go in and do whatever. And, like, if I did that, the game would be beaten by the first night that I came back. Like, if I left it open, open overnight, the game, somebody would just, like, solo things uh, to get themselves better gear or whatever. Uh, and the game would be over by the second day. we're going to be today? We're going to finish the game today, YM. We're going to the Moon Lord. Uh, we'll do starting multiplayer again? No, probably not. I have Deadly Sphere Staff. Deadly Sphere Staff is up in the, uh... Oh, whoops. Uh, there's a chest top right. There's a new, uh, a new bed for Pumpkin Moon, specifically. Um... Deadly Sphere Staff is up there. Uh, Wyan, you at less than 300 HP? Yeah, it's up here. Okay, Pumpkin Moon will be starting soon. Okay, come see me in the White House over here, Wyan. That one over there. Uh, also joined blue team.
Yeah, get over here though. We we don't have much time. Uh, where are you? What are you doing here, Vulcan? Did you get those? Okay, there's some extra Spectre bows in the HUD mode ingredients chest or whatever. Um, uh, you can make spe uh, Spectre wings with those, which are a post-plant to your wing. Play meeting court tutorial for the first time classic, and now you're thinking you're doing an expert classic so much easier than you remember. Yeah, classic, once you're used to playing an expert classic is, is really easy. Um... Once you get, like, the strategies for expert mode down, it's, uh, a bit of a pushover. Because Classic's not really meant to be much of a challenge, it's kind of meant to be more of a sandboxy vibe experience. Uh, okay. Pumpkin Moon will be starting soon. Make sure everyone's got their, their minions summoned. Um, that's just Deadly Sphere or Optic. Uh, uh, because they have the best crowd control for, for this point in the game. Uh, I'll be using Deadly Spheres. Uh, Classic is pretty hard first time. Yeah, because you're still learning the game, but once you know the game, uh, it's pretty easy. Um, also, as a heads up, these NPCs are probably all going to die down here. It's uh, the way it goes. Where's the bed? Top right. Uh, up here. Do I am on the stream? It's up here. Did you really wormhole potion here? What? Look at XD. Where are you getting all these wormhole potions from that you keep using? Secret? I'm gonna need a better answer than that, Vulcan. Cause I can't help but notice you've been uh you've been popping a lot of them. Like very, very frequently. Like I see you teleporting to people every couple minutes. Found blink root, and the fish is easy to catch. How many wormhole potions do you have on you, Vulcan? In your inventory. Oh, we got a pumpkin. 16? Hey, Angler. Trees in the house. This is why we made an alternate house up here for people to go in so they wouldn't get spawned yet. Uh, I hope you did. Okay, steak launcher. The tree can't get up to that house.
Oh boy. Got witch's broom. Nice. being overrun. Are you spawning in the bed, Ryan? The bed shouldn't be getting overrun. Uh, Dark Harvest. Find it using regular spawn. I suggest you go look for it. Fishies. What does this whip actually do? We got a Raven Staff? Okay. Is Raven better than Deadly Spear? I don't remember how the staffs line up. It is? Okay. We could use Ravens for um for UF for Golem and UFOs maybe? So in wave 20, um, yeah, I think it's just pumpkins and, and morning woods, right? Morning woods drop stuff with spooky on pumpkins could drop, uh, more dark harvests and scrolls. Scrolls are probably high priority. Headless, oh yeah, I think there's headless horsemen there. Ooh, a poltergeist. Damn, 300 damage. That's just kind of pumpkin moon hyper. Spawn? Okay. I'll clear these guys up. Died with staff. Okay, so I'll put my uh What is which is Oh, pumpkin. How many waves? Twenty waves. I don't know why I'm damage? Yeah. Uh, morning woods do a lot of damage. Oh, is the pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin woods also do a lot of damage. Just 
spawned on you. Yeah, well, I'm glad you guys weren't here for when Pumpkin Moon was bugged and all these enemies were hitting for a thousand damage for all their attacks. Be a hell of a lot worse. Uh, shortly after 1.4.4, there was a, a bug which caused, which is when they added HP scaling to Pumpkin Moon. Um, there was a bug that also added damage scaling based on numbers of players. So in a lobby like this, everything would be dealing a thousand damage while their attacks easily. I'll put the Dark Hovis that I got in the Whip's chest. Um, I'm fine with doing something else. Uh... Oh, there's extra Morning Stars in here. I'll take a Morning Star. Okay. Um, I'll put my Spooky Wood in the Hard Mode chest. Uh, I don't know how much we got, but... That's where I'm putting mine. Uh, I don't think I'll be going for spooky armor. Graveyard Bimes annoy you so much. I just like how they look visually. Any Pyruses? I didn't see any. I threw Angel Wings accessories. Okay. Um. So let's get the Raven Staff that we got in the shared chest. Okay. Um. Uh, let's, um, once we get enough NPCs respawned, let's head down and do the Wall of Flesh again. Okay. Uh, and this time with our deadly spears and rapes and whatnot, we should be in a much better position. Going down now. I don't think there's enough NPCs to use the pylons right now. Hexed Branch should be really good for the Wall of Flesh. Uh, anyone got a guide food at all? You do? Okay. Uh, will you got set of Kaiba? Oh, Ingwa, I'll get you some HP. There you go. Where Raven Staff? Uh... Can we get the Raven Staff that we got in the, the shared chest? Why did you get four life crystals? Were they the life crystals I was trying to give to uh, Ingra? Did you get the life crystals I gave you, Ingra, or did student loan get picked that picked them up? Yeah. The deadly sphere back. Did you go to summoner set set up free max? I usually just use spiders on the twins and get an optic staff. Dreading all this is a huge pain in the ass. Am I addicted to Terraria? No. Where's that Raven Staff at? Who, who got the Raven Staff? You're reforging it? Okay.
Nice. Okay. Uh, have we had enough NPCs respawn? Oh wait, is the pylon over there? Those NPCs alive? Okay. We can use the pylon over here to get down to the um. Uh, the wall of flesh. So let's head down here. I'll be uh. I'll be waiting to summon him. Use spider armor? Yeah. Get some planets dead? Yeah. Uh, I need... Yeah, I'll summon him right here. This pool of lava up here should be fine. Alright. You guys coming? I know a lot of you guys don't have demon hearts. Gotta find the pylon. Look at the map. It's a big glowing green, like, hexagon or something. Like, try master mode summoner, we think it'd have a rough time. I don't think it's too bad. Not at spawn? Yes, that would be because it's put slightly to the right of spawn. So that we can use the pylon, because there are NPCs alive to the right of spawn. So look at your map. Look to the right. There's a forest pylon there. I, I'd rather you didn't do that. I put this here so I could... Yeah, we're fighting the wall of... If you guys want a demon out, you better get your ass down here. I'm done waiting. Why would somebody... What? Who did that? Why? I was looking at the screen. What is wrong with you people? Okay, there's your wall of flash refight. Have fun. Remember, you can shimmer your emblem. Okay. Uh, let's do another pumpkin moon tonight. See if we can get more... Uh... Uh... More stuff. Give it 200 health. I will get you to 300 HP. Uh, you should join the blue team first. I can see where you are. I will get you to 200 HP. Yeah, let's put the Raven Staff in the other chest up here. Alright, Raven Staff will be up here. Uh... Uh, it's going to be out of that chest very briefly. How much of a gauge for a difficult master mode is compared to expert or even classic? I, I mean, master mode is just expert mode, but things do more damage. You have the relic? I don't care. Put it wherever you want. Uh... I mean, if you're looking for something that's like Expert Mode again, Master Mode is not that. Master Mode is basically just a stat buff to be a harder Expert Mode. Uh, right now, I mean, I, I guess technically we're on Golem, but we're doing Pumpkin Moon to try to get some, some more Pumpkin Moon drops. Um, we only got 238 Spooky Wood. Is somebody holding on to Spooky Wood on them? 238 is really low for a Pumpkin Wood that reached Wave 200, or Wave, wave 20. Somebody's got to have a lot of spooky wood on them. Let's pull it together in that chest. Item rack? More difficult than a chest. Which chest? Uh, hard mode. 
We need 750, and the odds of any one of us getting that without pooling our stuff together is quite low, so holding onto it isn't doing you any favors. Yeah, expert perform master is usually a good idea. Um, it's just a more fair version of the same thing, basically. Uh, master mode's real big on, like, artificial difficulty. It's just a uh, big HP buff and damage buff. Uh, and you have a lot less wiggle room. You're basically doing the same things you were doing in expert. You just have to... You're punished a lot more. Expert for the worthy? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't suggest expert for the worthy. Before playing expert mode at all. <laughs> 10 kills to get the Moon Lord to drop the Star Fury yesterday. The Star Wrath? Mm. Yeah, it could be a real pain, but thankfully they, uh... Here's the beat Legendary Get Fixed Boy, it was hell as expected. I never really found Legendary Get Fixed Boy to be that bad. I mean... Interesting alternative to Master. Yeah. There's Ravenstaff. The Ravenstaff is in the top right room. The safe room. Uh, Over here. I guess it should be. Yeah, it's up here. By the bed. That is our, our safe location to respawn out. I beat it in hardcore, but that was after beating it regularly, and I didn't think it was that bad beating it regularly. I can tell if playing split screen is harder or not, because you're not playing with a very good player, but also being able to respawn is kind of OP. Um, multiplayer generally makes the game easier, Sunny Day. Um, at least, like, small multiplayer groups. Big multiplayer groups like this, some things can be harder. Um... But especially playing locally, if you don't have to deal with lag, um, you usually just kind of get to respawn during boss fights and it gives you a lot more wiggle room. Um, you don't have to deal with enemies having more HP, bosses specifically, um, but that's manageable. It's the best armor currently. Uh, I would suggest buying Tiki armor from the Witch Doctor at the moment. Um, Tiki armor's in the jungle. The Witch Doctor's in the jungle. Tiki armor's a bit expensive. I think it'll run you a little over a platinum for... Uh, Tiki is good defense. It also gives you a whip range buff, which is very nice. The buff to boss is very big. It depends on the boss. Um... They have different scaling. Um, it's usually something to the effect of 50%. Uh, I'd say 50% more HP is usually a good ballpark, I guess, for two players. I think something like Skeletron gets like double HP. Um, it just depends. 1.35x for all bosses. Really? I thought different bosses scaled differently. I thought Skeletron had, like, more HP scaling than other bosses. is the best Terraria player? It's kind of a meaningless question. We're gonna do Empress Flight probably after getting the Xeno staff from... Uh, we're gonna do another Pumpkin Moon YN. Uh, Xeno staff from Motions. Uh, Terraria doesn't have, have a very high skill ceiling. Uh, Ravens are our current summon that we've been using a lot of. Uh, it's not very difficult to get. This corruption sucks, no mushrooms. Uh, that, that's, uh, you're looking at the Crimson? 
Uh, are you talking about the one that got spread in the world when hard mode came? Uh, Terraria doesn't have a very high skill ceiling, so it's not difficult to reach the point where uh, you can perform about as well as any other highly skilled player. Uh, it's mostly just what you feel like doing past that point. Um, different people are good at different things in the game, uh, what they choose to specialize in, but I don't think there's really a a definite one player is better than other players because you just reach a point where players are reasonably about the same in skill level, they just do different things. Yeah, pumpkin moon number two. Also, honestly, I think we're at the point where we can ditch the, uh, the leather whip. I think the, the benefits we're getting from the leather whip scaling, now that we're not using the blade staff, is pretty negligible. And it's really inconvenient to use. Um, potentially, like, Snapthorn and, and other things as well. I haven't thought too much about those ones. Um... Grappled into a Morningwood Missile. That's what the fuck is. Yeah, um, after this, I think we'll do Golem, and, um, after Golem, do Motions. Get, hopefully get a Xeno Staff. There's a wyvern here. The Xeno Staff or the Star Dragon Staff from the Pillars? Oh, the Stardust Dragon's better than the Xeno Staff, but we're going to be doing the Empress of Light before the Pillars. I mean, the Stardust Dragon is just so much... Uh, so grossly... Uh, grossly out DPSs. All of the other, um, minions that, even if it's AI is a bit wonky, it's still worth using over them. Um, although maybe we'll use Stardust Cells because of our tag damage potential for this run, but I'm not even sure about that one. Dragon's just so good. Any class in the game needs an overall buff? I think if any class uh, 
needed rebalancing, it would be to make Mage better. I think Mage is the weakest class in the game. Specifically in like pre hard mode, uh, mage is really weak. Pumpkins don't teleport, hyper. Um, what's more likely, it was it was just a lag thing, uh, where the uh, pumpkins location uh, in your version of the game was different than the actual one, and then when you hit pumpkin. Pumpkin hit you, it readjusted and caused him to snap back to his proper location. Is there a summoner? I mean, summoner was bad, but then they buffed it. Uh... Very, very substantially in 1.4. The summoner bad thing was absolutely true back in 1.3. Post uh, Golem. Post Golem is not early hard mode. Uh, mage pre hard mode in particular is, is is really, really a struggle. Um, like. When was the last time you did mage in pre-hard mode and felt like you had good, powerful weapons and you didn't get a demon scythe early on? Now, post-Skeletron, mage has some decent options with the Aqua Scepter and Flower of Fire Zarei and uh, Water Bolt, but outside of the demon scythe, what, like, actually good things does mage have? Grey Zapinator is awesome. Grey Zapinator is a traveling merchant sale. It is pretty good, but it is also a traveling merchant weapon that's very inconsistent to obtain. Like, honestly, if gem staffs were just reworked to be better, I think that would be a pretty good way to buff mage. Because as is, gem staffs kind of suck. Um, I, I know we use them against Skeletron during the mage run, and they're not awful, but if they were made a bit better, I don't think it would be super unbalancing. They're not exactly go-to weapons to begin with. Um, like Space Gun and Meteor Armor. Space Gun and Meteor Armor are good on low difficulties. As you get to higher difficulties, they scale off a bit. Um, because uh, they would buff the Grey Zapinator's high damage shot chance. I don't think so. Mage's best thing is healing things. Yeah, once you have, like, Spectre armor, Mage is pretty good. I'm sure to find that many of it to be that bad. Yeah, I mean, compare... The most reasonable comparison is comparing gem staffs to bows. And bows are so, 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 so much better than gem staffs. Bows are able to use all different types of arrows. They've got better piercing. They can do debuffs. They have better projectile speed. They're easier to aim. They shoot faster. They don't take mana. Uh, and their damage is pretty similar. Uh, if not better. With specialty arrows. Um... I'm not sure, John. Uh, okay, I think that'll be all the pumpkin moons we do for now.
Uh, we've got enough for a spooky armor in the chest. Um, it looks like, at least right now. Um, I say we do golem next. Uh, Ravens or Deadly Spheres should be good on Golem. I did not get any Raven Staffs. I did get a Witch's Broom, which I'll be putting in one of the chests over here. Uh, let's say... Uh, contains E.D. Mexico. There's a witch's room in there. Yeah, Golem's up next. Um, and then after Golem, it'll be Motions. Yeah, whips are the buff that Summoner got. Um, I'm gonna try to dodge UFO beams. Uh, basically how the UFO works. It's, we're not going to showcase it in multiplayer, because multiplayer UFO dodging is miserable. But, um, the UFO will fly past you, and then sweep back over you this way. So basically, when the UFO goes to your left, you want to go to the right. And when it goes to your right, you want to go to the left. Um, a dash can help with that. Um, just good horizontal mobility is basically what you want, though. Um, Obsidian Armor was nerfed a bit, but it's a good free hard mode armor set. Uh, it's no longer good for, like, the entire game, like it used to be, but... Um, it's still good. And reset the point into the dungeon. I'm uh, pretty sure I already did. Still fine. Broke the pylon. They moved the pylon to the right so you can actually use it because all of the NPCs that spawned were dead. You should thank them. Nimbus Rod a sentry? No, it deals magic damage. Pyro scare, scare is cheaper than the, uh, Hercules Beetle. Can we forge the Raven Staff? No. Okay. Uh... Decent temple room. We're taking Golem outside the temple. We're not fighting him in the temple. We have an arena right next to the temple room, don't we? Oh, the temple room's all the way over there? Uh, okay, we'll have to lead him back a little bit, but that's fine. I'll get to clear that out. Uh, here, I'm gonna put an extra Dark Harvest in the whoops chest again. Along with the Hex Branch. I don't really like the Hex Branch much. Uh, yeah, having to respawn your minions is a little bit inconvenient, but it's fine. Uh, Empress will be interesting. I'll have to see how good our damage is against her. Should hopefully be quite potent. Uh, 
And if you get to get buff stations when you're running a summoner build, it's hard to remember doing it every time you, you respawn. Yeah, the Finch Staff does respawn for free, that is true. I left some shimmer in the dungeon. Or in the temple. Thought I erased all that. Okay. Uh, best way to do this is going to be to have one person summon Golem in there, then recall home, and the person on the bottom will lead Golem back to the left. He's going to be moving real fast, though. Summon Golem? Okay, summon, then teleport back, and I'll lead him back on the bottom. I can lead him. Okay, everybody get prepped for Golem. Uh, I got some extra cool if I put in the Hound Mode chest. Uh... Busting graves. All right. Just make sure you're ready for golem. Uh, I'll bring the uh, the staffs in a bed down to the arena. Uh, along with buffs. Now, unfortunately, unlike melee, we won't have a tank to draw golem's aggro, so we will have to. Uh, you have a bed? Okay. Uh, is there a, a bewitching table down there? Yeah? Okay. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm- I don't know how fast Golem is going to be. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to lead him all the way. Could I get somebody positioned, like, in the middle, uh, to run a bit in front of me in case, uh, Golem ends up killing me as I try to lead him back? Can I use life food? That is true, you can shimmer it into an Aegis fruit, though. No, you don't have to run through the temple. We're going underneath the temple. Okay, Raven Staff's here. Make sure you set your bed. Five minutes of broken... Tell you where to stand. I'm, I'm not going there yet, but just hold on a sec. Have some patience. Oh, your bed said spawn point set. Uh, went to the wrong one. Sometimes multiplayer can be buggy. It's setting spawns. I think it's a T-Shock thing. Is that a nurse? Sometimes beds can be a bit buggy. No, an iron skin? I have iron skin potions. Thank you, though. Just use whichever one you like more, Ingra. They're both good.
Yeah, we're gonna start soon. I'm on my way over. People are still at spawn? Well, they'd better get over here then. Golem is not going to be a pushover fight. You guys should get over here. We will probably have a difficult time with him. Okay, uh... Hyper over here. This is the path. Uh, stay a good way in front of me. Uh, I'll be leading him back. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. He's real fast. He is real, real fast. Oh, there's a block there. Damn. Okay. I gotta recover my HP. He did a number on me. Dexon, you're about to die to fire. I can't. I, I was gonna extinguish you, but you got out. I had a bucket of honey I was gonna dump on you, but uh, you lucked out and died just before the uh, you both killed you. Okay, he's gonna start firing lasers soon. He's really fast, should you try blades? I'm using deadly spheres. Uh, deadly spheres are, I think, working well for me. Um, uh, if you want to try blade, sure. Um, the ravens are having trouble with his fists, it looks like. They're trying to, to go after his fists. doesn't work. It's just a, a multiplayer issue. Some unfair it happens sometimes. I can't help you. Multiplayer is buggy. Golem is really fast. Golem speed scales based on the number of players. Uh, and because we have like 12, 13 players or something, uh, he's very, very, very fast. Uh, hey, we got a lot of people dying down here. Uh, how many people we have? Twelve players right now. Could be a lot worse. Yes, well, maybe if you weren't popping them like candy. Hey, despawned. Everyone died.
Do we try Empress of Light? No! What? What kind of question is that? Here, let's, um... Let's get the nurse in this bed. Uh... It's nighttime right now. She should be able to move in. Um, everybody move away from this bed, please. Move away from that bed, please. Okay, nurse is there. Um, if you're gonna die to golem, how about uh, recalling to the nurse and healing? Should save us a lot of time with people dying. Um. Uh, let's just try again. Um, make sure before we start the fight that your uh, your spawn is properly set, okay? So before we summon, make sure you recall or respawn back at um back at the bed. And we'll try Golem again. Golem's real difficult in multiplayer, especially when you don't have a tank to draw his aggro. But, um, we'll have to try our best. Uh, we have black fairy dust. You a tight diet tank? I know why, and it's the Eye of Cthulhu. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my wings. Uh, that strategy, um, I think with Golem's speed, the Raven Staff isn't a good play. Uh, I think the Ravens were having a lot of difficulty keeping up with Golem. Uh, what other minions do we have that would work better? Um, I felt like Deadly Sphere was doing fine. Sanguine and Blade, not Sanguine. We do Deadly Sphere over, uh... Blade would work well. Okay, we can try Blade. Uh, we want to make sure we're mixing up our whips. I'll cover uh, Spinal Tap. Uh, can we get a Snap Thorn? I think we can... You're on Cool Whip. Um, I think we can ignore Leather Whip. I don't think it's worth trying. It's The range is so slow. It's so low on it. Um, you got Durandal. Okay. No, Chrome. We're playing Summoners. We're not playing Melee. And the whip buffs last like three or four seconds. Yeah, game would be easier if we were all just playing Melee, but we're not. Valhalla Knight is basically that. Valhalla Knight is actually a hybrid armor set. Just going to put on hollowed armor for melee is not that. We already finished melee. And we're also not post golem, so we can't do that. We can't do Valhalla Knight. Uh, you were the one talking up Omni stacked blade staff potential. Okay. If Summoner struggles, then Summoner deserves to struggle. I'm on my way back now. We got another, uh, power cell. Okay, I'll be back there soon. That's a block I want to destroy on the way there. 
Make sure you spawn... Oh, wait, no. I have a... I spawn set here. Make sure your spawn is properly set. Okay? I don't want people dying and going back to the real spawn. Yeah, I very well might die. Golems are very, very fast. Uh... Okay, you're good to go, Electric Essence. Careful, he's, uh, he's getting out. Remember, if you get low on HP, you can recall to the nurse and heal with her. Let's try to keep him on the right side of the arena, okay? I want to keep him away from the nurse and away from the respawning players. Okay, you guys did not, uh, did not do that. Very well. We got spawn killed. The people did not keep Golem to the right side of the arena. That would be the expected result there. This wasn't an issue last time we fought Golem. Nothing about this early in the fight. How many biome chests did you get? You have Desert Tiger and the Frost Hydra? that are a problem here. In my opinion. His right fist is dead. But he is just a rapid fire non-stop laser machine right now.
God, that fist is so fast. That's probably the Hoik YN. I feel like we can get the, that last fist dead, we'll be in a lot better position. Oh, the nurse is back? That's good. She's still alive? She's alive and still back. For the time being, at least. Head off? Okay, is the hand dead? I really hope that hand's dead. That hand is brutal. But the hands are gone now, so... Okay. Halfway there. Uh, careful, he's going back left. Holy shit, what's that head doing? Yeah, you guys gotta hold out till the reinforcements come. <laughs> we'll be spawning now. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it basically is the solo death ray. That's right, we almost got him. Pixar, that's nice. Pixar and I have the golem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, multiplayer golem when you don't have a tank controlling his aggro is brutal. And yes, a tank is basically just a cheat code to um, make the game easier. Because if you don't have a tank, that's what you have to deal with. That is why I play a tank in a lot of these multiplayer games. So that we don't have to do that. Yeah, we'll do motions next. Um, I would say that I'll give you guys time to prepare, but I am certain that somebody's going to accidentally spawn motions within the next 10 minutes, so. Uh, it doesn't matter whether I give you time or not. The motions are going to get summoned. Um, I think we should go back to this bed up here. Uh... No, Xeno Staff's really good, Seagull DOE. We want the Xeno Staff. Uh, I would suggest using this bed uh, to avoid the massive waves of ground-based enemies that come during motions that'll spawn can't be down there. Dexter, and I'm pretty sure we have Morning Stars in the Whip's chest. Uh, well, we have Durand Dolls. We had Morning Stars, now we have Durand Dolls, but... You don't need the best whip. Like, I know the morning star is good, but. Remember that whole exception to the wool thing I was talking about earlier? 
Yeah, Golem's very, very difficult in multi multiplayer. What deck zone? Are you summoning a motion probe? You're summoning a motion probe, aren't you? They're cultists? Oh, you just walk past them. Oh, what do we have? I think a lot of us are working with Tiki. Uh, sure, you can go look for a probe. Yeah, I'm taking the Raven Staff and putting it back in the chest. There's a forest pylon. Uh, probably got moved slightly. Needs Raven's Motion Madness. Should be good. Motion Madness, crowd control, and um... The Saucer's a lot slower than Golem was. The main thing the Raven struggled with was keeping up with Golem. Which wouldn't be much of an issue with the Saucer's. Yeah, go ahead and uh, get a probe. There's the house. Top right of spawn. Same place it's always been. Where's the pylon? Pylon had moved slightly to the right because there were living NPCs there that we can use. Uh, I think we can bring it back to regular spawn, though. They're talking about targeting the cultists. They're talking about the uh, the cultists in front of the dungeon that haven't been aggroed yet. The ones that are just sitting there chanting. Pylon's back to normal now. Okay. Well, as soon as uh, as soon as they get a probe, we'll be doing motions. Um, we want to focus until we get at least one Xeno staff. We want to focus saucers uh, when when it's possible. So once we get the point of being able to summon saucers to spawn, we should try to focus only saucers if we can. I know it won't be the easiest with minions killing things, but um... Do your best. Oh, life crystals? Oh, I can get... Uh... You picked a really bad time to say that, Sosa Hawk. I can, but I need you. Did you set your spawn to the bed? Up here? If you if your spawn is up here, I can get you the life crystals easily. Can you get up here, Sosa Hawk? Here, I'll put him in this chest. Go ahead and grab him out of there. Those life crystals are for Soza Hawk. Okay, when it comes to the saucers, I will be covering Spinal Tap. Um, we basically just want to gang up on a saucer and whip him as much as we can and uh, get all of our minions grouped up on top of him. We can probably DPS him down before he gets to- Okay, we got a saucer. Right side. We can probably DPS him down before, uh, he gets to phase two. Why am I the only one here? Come on, DPS. Okay, there's a Xeno staff. Okay. Instant Xeno staff. Fantastic. Um, I don't remember if Xeno staff's good for this event. Uh, I'm gonna summon up all my things and see how they perform. Uh, it doesn't have crowd control. I, I can't put it in there until you guys get out of the chest, you know. Okay, I'll put the Xeno staff in there. Um, 
The Xeno Staff is particularly what we want for the Empress, though. Uh, that's our Empress weapon. Yeah, I don't I don't actually think Xeno Staff is gonna be better than Ravens and Deadly Sphere. Um for this event. Uh, we're sharing loot, John. Yeah, I, I would not recommend using Xeno Staff for this event. In fact, I'm not even going to use Xeno Staff. They do have good range. Yeah, but they have, like, no crowd control. Whereas Deadly Sphere does have crowd control, as do Ravens. Yeah, we can just end Martian Madness now. We got what we need. We don't need to try to farm out more saucers. No, 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 we're doing nighttime Empress, not daytime. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. We do not have the damage to kill him before he goes phase two. Where's he at go to? Okay. One of these random projectiles is gonna kill me, I can tell. Okay, saucer down. Xeno popper. Uh, but yeah, the person that was asking about dodging the saucer, you basically want to do that. Just watch what I did there. Bloom is really good for it. There's the staff. Someone took the staff. Well, they probably just died with it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, the first saucer death ray can be really awkward. Once he gets into the cycle, it's easy, but sometimes it's hard to tell what he's doing exactly. I don't think so, so it's a hawk. Blue. Uh, a debuff Galaxy Studios, not a buff. Ever watched the Captain Sparkles Expert Mode playthrough? No. Um, I haven't heard the name Captain Sparkles in like a decade. I mean, I would be surprised if most popular, uh, or even unpopular YouTubers, uh, over the age of, like, 18 haven't played Terraria. It's one of the most popular games of all time. Careful, he's gonna get spawned? Okay. Another Xeno Popper? Is that three for three on Xeno- three for four on Xeno Poppers? Okay, another saucer. Yeah, that's it. Okay, four for five on Xeno Poppers. We'll make it five for six.
Oh, you killed the saucer without me. Damn it. Getting into that initial rhythm's tip tricky. Okay. Um, night after this, we're gonna do Empress of Light. Okay. Hey, you guys want to do Duke Fish Run during the day today? Just for the sake of doing Duke Fish Run. Uh, UFO is, is a good weapon for Fish Run. So let's, uh, let's UFO it up for Fish Run. Uh, looks like we've got something resembling an arena. We want to flesh it out a little bit. Um, let's, uh, here, I'll be responsible for moving the arena buffs and stuff. I'll, I'll take them from the jungle uh, over to Fishron. Can someone get a bed set up over there? Uh, you report the Xeno staff? Sure, just bring the Xeno staff to, uh, to the ocean for Fishron. Anyone got a truffle worm? I'm not sure if I have one. I don't have a truffle worm. Anyone got a truffle worm? Uh... Soldier mine, secondary MC side. Okay. Uh, my MC's died. Well, why don't you move in the um the cat and the golfer to the secondary location, and then walk away from it. Golfer's on an island. He'll move in easily. Plenty of Xeno poppers. No, that's not worth it, John. Yeah, Ingra, uh, you'll, you'll need to move away from there, otherwise the NPCs can't move in. Ingra, you gotta move. Okay, Pylon should be back to working now. Villagers in the jungle died? Oh. I like how you guys ignored the villager that I told you to move in. Uh, Mythical is best for Xeno? I think Ruthless is best. Doctor? Dead. I can read your decks. Just give it to me. Easy. Are there six reforges? Okay, you got truffle worms? Good. Xeno staff in the chest. Uh, I the bed's not over here yet. I'll uh, bring it from here along with the bewitching table. to move before I can... I can't put down the last thing to close the room. I 
stamina. Slightly more. I know you can't sleep. I'm finishing the room. You can do it now. Somebody hammered this bottom one. Maybe I just got put with spout cursor. Okay. Um, I'll be spinal tapping fish one. Okay. I'm gonna grab a couple well-fed buffs right over there. Um, we got someone with a fishing rod to summon him. I know we got truffle worms. Yeah, yeah, but you have a fishing rod? You have a fishing rod? Okay. Give him to uh, Electric Essence, Dole Dole Dole. Give him to Dole 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 Dole. Uh, sure, Seagull DA. Uh, I got some healing potions I can give you. Come see me. Go ahead and summon him whenever you're ready, Electric Essence. Oh, fuck off. Anyone got a sundial or a moon dial? I love the just constant beam of pure blue energy eviscerating Duke Fishron. We're shredding through his HP, it won't take very long to kill him. Uh, Xenostaff does mad damage against single targets. Um, especially with all the whip support we're giving him. Uh... Yeah, god, just giant glitchy blue wave of death eviscerating Duke Fishron. And it'll do it to the Empress of Light. I mean, this is basically, like, the exact counter to what the Empress of Light does, right? She does giant, like, blue sword beams across the screen. That's what we're doing. And you know what? Ours is better than hers. Honestly, we probably have more sword beams than she does. Okay, Seagull the she's uh, aggroed to you. Oh, he's aggroed to you. Uh... He's not going to stop chasing you until one of you dies. He's about to go phase two soon. Or phase three. So be ready for that. Is that good to me now? Nailhead intruder. Rest in peace. Phase 3 win? Soon. I, I don't know the exact HP value, but we're about to get there. Now. Phase 3 now. I suggest you keep your distance away from me, because he's going to be teleporting on top. Like, if you're near me, he's going to telefrag you. So stay away from me. Shit, I died. I thought he was going on the other side. You want to stay away from the person he's aggroed to. That is true, Melly. I died because I wasn't counting. I, I can't actually count. Yeah, you don't need a dash. Um, I died just because I was preoccupied uh, with my thoughts. Uh, somebody died with the Xeno staff, it looks like.
it's still on vehicle. Why well, I know we have on there. Okay, Duke's just about dead. He's down. Okay, I didn't get it. Okay, good. Can we get that Xeno staff back in that chest? Whoever had it and died. Um, so Empress. Uh, it, we're gonna do Empress tonight. Um, but it's gonna be a bit awkward because we're gonna be coming off it right off the eclipse. Um, I'm gonna move all the stuff we just got back to spawn. Um, actually, why don't we just fight the Empress here? We already have everything here. Well, no, nah, there's a lot more space at spawn. I'll bring stuff back to spawn. Okay, I'm moving the Xeno staff back to spawn. I haven't seen this how much read text since the beginning of the stream. Seen this much red text? Hmm. Okay, um... Xeno staff is in the uh, alternate, uh, or the the spawn point near home. Um, I highly suggest that for uh, for the Empress. Um, we'll probably die a lot to the Empress. Uh, let's try to keep the Empress to the left of spawn, hopefully away from the nurse and people at home. Uh, So, we're not going to get a Terra Prisma. Uh, we're looking for Kaleidoscope from the Empress. That's our... That's our goal. So, yeah, yeah. Soaring Insignia is good. Uh, but... The Summoner-specific thing is, is Kaleidoscope. Um, and we can... Uh, after Empress, I think we'll give the Old One's Army a shot. Um, and then after that, I think we'll move on to the Cultist and the Moon Lord. I mean, we'll die a lot to Moonlord, but given the number of us, it will be very difficult to actually wipe to Moonlord. Crimp Truffle is not great for Empress, no. Um, but once we kill Empress, we'll get Soaring Insignia. Uh, the UFO is pretty good range, so you shouldn't have to stay too close to Empress. Um... As far as Old One's Army... What do you think our staff of choice should be? Flame Burst? We're going to use the, uh, the Hoik with the Old One's Army to stall ground-based enemies. Which means the only threats we have are flying enemies, and I... We usually go with the... The Trap Staff that does explosions, um, but that one doesn't really do anything. Traps work well against Wyverns in your experience. Is your experience playing single player? Okay, because I'm going to let you know those Wyverns have like 10,000 HP. 
And in single player, you might be able to kill them immediately. That's not happening in, uh, in multiplayer. You need sustained damage on them. They're also, like, almost knockback immune. Um, they're very, very resistant to knockback. If a single Wyvern were to get at the crystal, the Wyvern would kill the crystal before um, an explosive trap on the crystal killed the Wyvern. Yeah, scaled HP gets spooky. Uh, just like Pumpkin Moon. We only had 12 players though. Um, so it won't be terrible. You ever seen Fishron that was 1 million HP? I mean, we cut through Fishron's HP to, despite his, uh... Uh... His stuff. Uh, Electric Essence, do you- Oh wait, no, I have the Lace Wing, that's right. Um... So come 7.30, I want people to group up on me and be actively, like, whipping and attacking so that we, uh, kill the Lace Wing as I spawn it. Okay. So at about 7 p.m., make your way to my location. We still got time. Uh, I'll be summoning the Lacewing on top of me, so just whip me to make sure we kill the Lacewing as it spawns. Oh, no stide. That's unfortunate. Hopefully she'll respawn fully infinite. No day. Dino Staff is such a nice improvement from the other minions you've been using. How's the Duke Fish on summon weapon? Not better than the Xeno Staff. It's not a good pick for the uh, the Empress of Light. She's quite agile. Xeno Staff tracks her perfectly. Do I have mana crystals? I'm not sure if we have any spare. You can get mana potions and just drink the mana potions as you're summoning your minions. Like the fourth Neptune shall have gone. Okay. My phone's feeling a bit laggy today. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, uh, this isn't a moth, this is a moth Vaughn. Completely different. Was top notch. <laughs> yeah, there's three falling. Oh, that's your stuff, Wyan. I was gonna say there's three falling stones up there. Once we kill the Empress of Light, you can hopefully get some some fallen stones that fell that night. Um,
I don't appreciate Mothbond teleporting. I really don't. All these broken hero swords are doing great for the melee world. Okay. Um, I'll be waiting at the edge of the uh, the planter boxes. Uh, at 7.30, I'm gonna drop this laser ring, and we're gonna, uh, I want you guys to be all be attacking me, so we summon the, uh, the Empress. Uh, at 7.30, though. There's a lot of Discord? Yeah, somebody got a lot of Discord to drop from. I had to adjust the permission so it was usable. I think it was Soza Hawk? I don't remember. Okay, go ahead and start whipping my location. Okay, you guys all summoned him. Summoned her. Good job. I know you had it in you. Oh, range issues. Multiplayer Empress is very tough. We'll probably die a lot here. Um, when she's not aggroed to you, it's very hard to, to dodge her attacks. We're getting more people in here now. Our damage is good. There she go. Oh, okay. And a single hit. As long as you're in the vicinity, don't worry about whipping her. The UFOs have very long range. Um, and they should leash to her from quite a distance. If you can't get in for whips, don't don't worry about it. Just keep your UFOs handy. You don't have UFOs? The UFOs are in a shared chest. You should be respawning. You have imps. Okay. Uh, we've been keeping minions in a chest next to the beds that we've been spawning in. If you go there, you can get... Uh, the imp supremacy. Imp wall of flesh. Or imp on empress of light. Best weapon. Summon a new meta. Um... There's a there's a bed top right of um of spawn in a little house up there. Uh, there's an imp staff. Oh sorry, it's not a staff. Uh, here. Oh, she's aggroed to me. I was trying to show where it was. Um, there's a, a Xeno staff up there. Uh, okay, we're in phase two now. I uh, go ahead and summon the uh the UFOs from up there.
We got good damage though. We'll do this. Is this what D-Day was like? Oh, this is this attack. Uh, if you look at this, it should be pretty clear why Daytime Empress of Light in multiplayer is just not possible. Uh, at least with the number of players that we have. Uh, the amount of HP she has, the damage we have, and the chaos of these projectiles, it's uh, not happening. We have a nurse. She died during the solar eclipse. Most of you dying in one hit anyway? No, no, no. You should be getting two shot. At least. Yeah, but then you're fighting for like an hour, Electric Essence. <laughs> He's got 1.17 million HP. We'll do fine. We've got the damage for this. Okay, uh, let's get her away from the spawn. Alright, we got this. Only 100,000 more to go. Let's keep up the pressure. Uh, we got this. Make sure we keep her away from spawn, though. We don't want people getting spawn camped. Wait, no, the, the witch's broom is... what? Oh, you're used to the... the you're used to the witch's broom, yeah. Truffle not raining mobility, it leaves a lot to be desired.
Damn it. 25,000 to go. We can do this. We got 30 seconds. Yeah, we got this. We got this. And there we go. Okay. Uh, so that went great. How do you guys feel about the cultist? We can whip stack the hell out of the cultist. Um, I want to be using every whip that we can on the cultist. I'll cover spinal tap. Okay. So, uh, Kaleidoscope, Cool Whip, Snap Thorn. Uh, I say we can leave the Leather Whip out of this. Uh, Durandal, Morningstar. Is that all of them? I'll cover Spinal Tap. Firecracker? They, Firecracker doesn't have a tag bonus. Oh, Old One's Army? Oh yeah, we can do the Old One's Army first. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we got a place for the Old One's Army? Firecracker, could we go to the Dragon? I don't even think it will. Like, it applies to one Dragon hitting once, which is good, but... Do we even have a tavern keep? We don't even have a tavern keep. The tavern keep's dead. Better for the Moon Lord speed kill? Yeah, not in 12 player multiplayer chrome. I know the firecracker works well with the dragon. When we're playing with 12 players, that's different story. Which is better? Letting one dragon uh, explode for roughly 3x damage on one hit, or letting everyone's dragon have like a 10% chance to crit for 4 seconds? Right? I don't know. The, the tavern keeps dead. I kind of just want to move on to the cultist. I don't want to have to wait around for him to respawn. Uh, I think we still have a... Yeah, we've got a bed over by the cultist. Um... I'll bring the Xeno staff over. Let's all head over to the uh, Lunatic Cultist. I'll bring this stuff. Ocean Pylon doesn't work for you. Uh, our NPC is just dead. You guys probably moved someone out of the Ocean Pylon when you were moving people in over there. Just, oh, Arms Dealer died. Okay, well, why don't we just walk to the Cultist then? It's the dungeon. We got mobility, we got wings. Let's go.
We want to make sure we're all here, though, because, uh... Cultists can be a pretty tough fight. People don't need fish on wings. If you really want wings that are similar to fish run wings, uh, you can buy steampunk wings from the steampunker. They're equivalent to the wings that you get. No, no, you want to whip the cultists. What are you talking about? Oh, unless you mean the cultists that are there now. Um. That's yeah, all good over you. Yeah, we have song insignia. Um, so with the Moon Lord, uh when we get his hands dead, we want to um Okay. Chest with Xeno staff in it. Um Raven Staff there too, why not? Uh the witching table. Okay, um, Steel is back, so I think the ocean pylon should be functional now. Yeah, ocean pylon's back to working. No, ocean pylon is not dead. The arms dealer just respawned. The nurse alive? Uh, yeah, but we're not gonna move right here. It's daytime. Um, okay. So, I got Spinal Tap. Uh, and we have Snap Thorn. We got a Snap Thorn here. Okay, I see a Snap Thorn. Good. Uh, we got a Durandal. Anyone Durandal? Anyone using a Durandal? Okay, you got a Durandal. Okay, we have a Cool Whip. I know that. Uh, I see a kaleidoscope. We have a morning star. See, Galio, you got a morning star. Okay, that's everything but the leather whip. Uh, we can have duplicate whips, hyper. It's fine uh, as long as we have at least one of each. Um, and leather is just so low range that we don't really have to worry about it. Um, okay, I'm gonna double check my spawn. It wasn't set, so it's good. I went there. Okay. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Let's decimate him. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Holy shit! Okay, his, his lightning attack kind of hurts, but... The absolute power of, uh... Of our whip stacking. Okay, problem. Uh... All you guys are dead? Okay, we're down to one cultist again. Oh no, we have a phantasm dragon. It's not dead. Okay, we gotta get that phantasm dragon out of here. If we lose? I mean, we might. I don't see where we can't imagine that. It's not weird to lose. I mean, we died to Golem. No issues. The main thing is. Damn it. Oh, what cultist? What about. I mean, like, the cultist in multiplayer is difficult. It's not. Uh, it's not a pushover.
like multiplayer fights when you can't see what's happening and the screen's getting spammed with high damage projectiles when all of you have low defense because you're summoners. the same place it's been. Oh. Dragon. Get the staff on you? Okay, well, we'll put it back when you respawn. Dragon's coming back. Dragon's dead. Okay, hey, dragon again. I'm sorry, did I just watch that blade staff summon a ancient vision because it attacked a cultist thing because somebody wasn't using the Xeno staff and used a minion that would attack the cultist? Is that what I just saw? Alright, we're fine. We're, we're winning this fight. Really need a tank? We're not getting a tank. We're playing summoners. Deal with it. Man, I got a really unfortunate prophecy dead there. And there. Look, mage didn't have a tank. Mage dealt with the cultist. You're telling me the mages are better than you? You guys are getting outperformed by mages. No, we gotta move, guys. You can't be at spawn right now. Nobody else is alive. Be like, oh, the pillars won't be bad at all. Pillars don't really scale for multiplayer. Someone died with the staff? Okay, well, bust out whatever staff you can in the meantime. I'm sorry, Hyper.
Dark balls with 350 damage. They do more than that. You got a lucky RNG ball. Man, these prophecies do be ending. Alright, dragon coming in. My wings ran out of flight at a really awkward time. I wasn't fast enough to hop back on my, uh, witch's boom. We almost got him, though. Only another 40k to go. I'll try to pull the dragon. Okay, I've got the dragon and the ancient vision on me. I don't know how long I can keep him for, though. Uh... What killed me? There was a prophecy's end from, like, a, a thousand blocks away that sniped me. God, I didn't even see that. Okay, let's uh, let's get Stardust Pillar. Stardust Pillar is uh, back to spawn to the right. I'll be bringing the uh, the Xeno Staff and stuff back to uh, back to spawn. Okay, when I said that I was gonna bring the Xeno Staff back to spawn, I meant that I was going to bring the Xeno Staff back to spawn. The cultist die. The cultist doesn't drop a treasure bag, mining. No, the cultist doesn't drop a bag. Okay, anyone who is not at 400 HP, come see me in the HP house to the right of spawn. We've now reached the uh, the 400 HP mark. Single fire line. Single fire line. Sozahawk, get down. It is not your turn. Okay, is that everyone? We all at 400 now? You missing? Okay, can you get back here? A life which non existent. Okay, uh, where's the Xeno staff? Oh, sorry, so I see what that was for a minute. Okay, please join blue team, Ingra. You're not on blue team. I don't know. Uh, can people check their inventory? Somebody has the Xeno staff on them. They must have died with it in their inventory. I want all you guys to check your inventories for the Xeno staff. Hyper, you have it? Okay. Can we get it in the, uh, the chest in the, uh, alternate spawn house? Okay. 
Switch Doctor dead? Um, yes. So I will, uh, where's the ancient manipulator at? Who has that? Does that spawn? Okay. Once we kill Stardust, um, uh, I will handle the fragments and making the weapons. Um, I'm going to make one of each staff and put them in the spawn chest. And then we can deal with making backup staffs for people to keep on their person. Okay? But go ahead and give me the fragments. And I'll manage um, keeping track of all that. We have plenty of fragments. We'll have plenty of duplicates, but please, uh, you guys are kind of on top of each other. Uh, here, just come give them to me over here. You guys are... Okay. Okay. So, our initial dragon slash uh, starter cells are going in this chest here. Uh, no, 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 it won't be an issue, Seagaldieri. They're, uh, they're calculated per player. Okay. And then, does anybody want cells? Or should I just make a bunch of dragons? Uh, Ingra, I think you have Stardust. You want cells? Okay. Cell, cells, dragon, dragon. Dragon. Okay, um, here, this middle blue chest, I'll be putting the extras. Uh, there should be a lot more Stardust Fragments than what you guys gave me. Ingra, do you have them in your inventory? I think somebody gave them to you on accident. One of you guys- some of you guys are keeping a lot of Stardust Fragments on you, because I only got like a hundred you have 79? Okay. Please give me, uh, those Fragments. And I'll make more snaps for people. I'm moving the house over here. Go up there? Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, did anyone beside the two people who said sell earlier, does anyone aside from Hypo and Summon Pharaoh want cells? Or should I make dragons for the rest of you? God damn, Miner, you got hella summon slots. I'll assume dragons for everyone. Okay, I'm putting more in there. Where are the dragons at? The blue chest in the middle. Um, I need to get in there to put more in there. And then if you couldn't get one out of there... We have our backup Stardust Dragons over here. The reserve one, in case anything happens. I'm, uh, summoning my dragon. Okay, and at this point, I'm just switching over to Morningstar Whipping. Um, tag damage on the Stardust Dragon is, like, non-existent. Uh, but the crit chance from Kaleidoscope and Morningstar is good, and Firecracker is good, um, if you feel like using it. Uh, I can make more Stardust Dragons. Who still doesn't have a Stardust Dragon or a Stardust Cell Staff? Uh, the Cell Staff in the blue chest is public. The Cell Staff in the, uh, chest... Next to the nurse is private. Or is, no, 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 sorry. The blue chest you can take. The one next to the nurse don't take.
Yeah, we have enough fragments. We can all take a Stardust Dragon. Uh, I know the chest says do not take summons, but you can take it out of that one. Um, I'm trying, Hyper. Um, but it's probably going to take a good, like, 20 minutes before we finish the game here. Uh, who's it for the armors? No, those are post-moon load. Game ends with the moon load. Um, okay. So does anyone still not have a staff on them? No, we're not doing the old ones, are we? The ta we don't have, the tavern keep, uh, was dead. And is still dead, apparently. He never respawned. Uh, so yeah, no. Okay, Ingwa, you don't have a staff? AYN, uh, please join blue team. I'll get you back your, uh, uh, I'll get you to 400 HP. Um... So is Ingwa the only person, Ingwa and YN, the only people who don't have Stardust Dragons? Or cells? You got one from the chest? That's fine. Uh, so just Ingwa and I? Where are you, YN? Uh, I have life crystals for you. Um... Please give me the fragments, um, from the other pillars, and I will craft them to make, uh, staffs for the people who still don't have them. Honestly, YN, I would suggest buying mana potions from the wizard or the merchant, and then summoning, and then drinking a mana potion, and then summoning again, and then drinking the mana potion. Mana sickness doesn't apply to summon damage. Um, so if you just keep drinking mana potions to keep resummoning things, you can do that as a budget solution to having low maximum mana. It's not ideal, but um, it should work. Is almost dead? Okay. Solu's still got a ways to go. Oh, that was an enemy. Okay, can the people who did uh, Vortex and Nebula please give me those fragments? Who did Nebula and Vortex? Who has the fragments? God, you guys! Okay, can you please put those fragments in the, the chest with the communal summons up here? Uh, when you get the chance. I guess we'll just have to go into this. Uh, like this. I'm sorry, Ingra. I'll try to get you a staff when I can, and I'll craft it and leave it in, in that chest there. Please leave the nebula uh, and the other fragments in there. Nebula fragments in the communal chest? Okay, have we gotten the vortex fragments in there? Those are the last ones we need. Will I make the 200 HP potions? No. Where is he? There we go. Yeah, 
Okay. Don't forget, we have a nurse um, that you can heal with. Uh, where are the vortex fragments at? Did we collect the vortex fragments? Vortex and chest here? The com okay. I'm putting extra stoutish dragons in the uh, the chest up here. Uh, Ingwer, there should be some up there. Also, if anyone else didn't tell me and still needs one, there's they're in there. Okay. So remember, once we um, once we get all of his eyes out, the ideal thing to do would be to pull the eyes away from him. Because coming strong and signia exclusive. I should honestly probably switch this one insignia. Hey, Rear Gonda is on that side. The left side. Recall potions. We've got shimmering them into uh, wormholes. It's fine. As long as we stagger our deaths, we'll win through attrition. It'll be a long fight, but we've each got our own individual dragons. We don't have to deal with all the weird inventory management with the chest. Um. We want to be sure to pop out, um, well, when the eyes pop out, uh, where's the nurse? What's she doing in there? Where are you doing, Bill? Yeah, 2.6 million, that's, um, what, 10 times his normal HP? Oh, the Witch Doctor's back. You joined for 30 minutes right now? I mean, you are welcome to join right now, Phoenix. We are in the middle of fighting the Moon Lord, though, so... I don't think the lobby's gonna be going on for 30 more minutes. If you join, I suggest you come up here. Uh, take a Sodas Dragon Staff out of that chest. I'll leave some extra life crystals in there. Um... See who I am now? Uh, go ahead and head up there, uh, get some life crystals, and join in the fight. Uh, here, I'll put a Witch's Broom in there too. You can use that for infinite flight uh, to get you to the Moon Lord.
What's he at? He's up there. Yeah, he's coming back now. There's spare dragon. There should be spare dragons in the uh, the chest that in the nurse's room. I made I think four staffs. Nurse. Uh, looks like there's still three more in there. Um. In the center chest. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, DPS is grinded to a to a halt, but we're wearing him down. Oh god. Hang on, where's the nose? <laughs> yeah, we passed the one million mark. Remember, once we pop out an eye, the ideal thing to do is have that eye aggro to somebody and have that person the eye is aggroed to pull it away so it's not attacking the rest of the people. We can separate the Moon Lord's defenses. And that right eye is going to pop out pretty soon. We still haven't quite gotten halfway there. God, PTSD from Lawnmower only looking at the amount of HP on a Moon Lord's hand. And now we're halfway. We're making progress. Good progress. Uh, again. I was about to try to make you want to go to space. I mean, you naturally, when you have infinite flight, tend to make your way upward uh, for dodging some of the Moon Lord's attacks. He has things that home aggressively downward. So going upward makes sense with avoiding them. And naturally, if you go up enough, you end up in space. One of the easiest ways to dodge the death ray is going up over him into the side. It's just sometimes people uh, miscalculate things. Um, okay, what are you doing here? I get. I there's a sure I have Cthulhu over here. What? What are you doing here? Let's try to pull this thing away. Uh... <laughs> Death way. Let's keep this separated from the Moon Lord, hopefully. Uh... I was not expecting that, uh, that true eye of Cthulhu. Yeah, I'll come help out, Hyper. Yeah, I'll come pull it. I, um... I hopped on the truffle on accident in a panic. Instead of relying on the swing insignia. I can keep this true eye occupied. No, no, no. You, I, I don't need help, uh, Hyper. Uh, if there's another true eye, you can pull that away. Uh, having another person here would just make it more difficult because the aggro would split between us. I am really messing this up. Focus more. Tries are really simple to dodge. I'll take him pretty far to the right. Uh, as far as I can. Keep him away from me. God, I am really messing this up. Jeez. Oh, leading shots. Okay, I messed up. Try clues back. My bad. Are we on the corner? Now? 
I'll keep the eye occupied as best I can. He's kind of spawn camp people though. Look, we're keeping him away from the Moon Lord, and that's what matters. With the true eyes occupied, the people actually dealing damage to the Moon Lord are more free to uh, to hit him. Okay, I was here. I contributed. I was here. Okay. Now, please don't start, like, destroying the world or, um, summoning Frost Legion or something. I'm going to put chests for people that want to save their items. Uh, put your stuff in the chests. Um... And then go ahead and leave the world. I'll put him right over here to the left. No, we're not destroying the world, Dexone. Some people want to save the world so they can play it later or whatever. Um, what are the items for? Like, we have server-side characters. So, your character that you have saved in your world does not have the items that you are currently can Oh, hold on, hold on. What is that? Meow Mew? That's... Uh, that is not, these are not melee, these are not summoning weapons. Okay, I don't want to see anyone using anything that's not a summoning weapon. And electric acid, I don't want to have, see you having an infinite wipe. So unfair, if you pull that Meow Meow back out, I'm banning you. But go ahead and deposit your stuff in these chests, okay? If I want to rename them. We have server-side characters on. I'm going to put the world download in my Discord server. Um, Yeah, put your items in a chest if you want to keep them. Like, if you want to download this world and play it yourself or have the character or whatever, the only way to do that is going to be to save your items in a chest and then go in the world um, and pick them up. Because the server-side characters means all of your items, you need two chests, there are plenty of chests here. All of your items are stored uh, in the server, not on your computer, and you do not have these items. I will put the world file up for download. You can download that world, and then you will have those items. Uh, what is the next world? Uh, I don't plan on doing multiplayer uh, for a, a little bit. Hang on, Staff Binder, we haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing over here? Who's the staff? Good question. Find him. Uh, staff Finder was the character Electric Essence made to determine who had stolen the, uh... I forget which staff it was. Flink Staff or something earlier in the game? Uh... Someone named, like, Thea had stolen a, a flink staff and was keeping it on them, uh, out of the communal chest. Hey, you, know, you look good. I got- you are an attractive man. You are a very, very attractive man. God damn. Okay, uh, please, once you deposit your stuff in a chest, go ahead and leave the world. Um. I'll go ahead and put my stuff in a chest. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Phoenix. Um. I will not be doing multiplayer for, uh, a while. Uh, these events are not super, super common. Um. Uh, anyone still, uh, storing their stuff? Oh, is that the staff? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course that's the staff. Okay. Staff was found. Has anyone, uh... Uh, yes, Phoenix. Um... Yeah, I'll pull the destroyer away if you guys want to, uh... If you haven't stored your stuff. Anyone still storing things? Okay. I'll keep the destroyer occupied at the ocean as best I can. I have no items aside from a shrimpy truffle though, so... How well I can do that is... Is questionable. And the bright side, it should be morning soon, and the destroyer will despawn in the morning. It'll be morning soon, Hyper, and you can put your stuff away in the morning. They'll despawn come morning. Okay, oh, made to the ocean. Oh, the truffle's slowing down. I gotta take damage. You guys still trying to store stuff? Almost done. Can't help with that one. <laughs> Odds are, the items you have, somebody else will have also been carrying. Um, and you could loot chests for the things that they had. Um, okay, uh, so as it turns out, every class except mage is good. Mage sucks. 